Hello everyone, this is your instructor Farwa Batool and welcome to the course of O-Levels Computer Science. Okay, so in this video we are going to start the topic of hexadecimals and the first subtopic that is lying under this heading. Okay, so what is it? How we are going to represent a positive number in a hexadecimal notation. Okay, so let's let us see that what are hexadecimal numbers first. Hexadecimal number system or numbers are basically a base 16 number system, which means that here we are using 16 distinct values in order to represent any of the number. 16 distinct, distinct values, right? What are these values? These are from 0 to 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are the 10 numeric values and the other digits are alphabets that are from A to F. A, B, C, D, E, F. And uh, these are the basically 16 alphanumeric values that are being used in a hexadecimal number system in order to represent any positive number or integer, right? Okay, now when we talk about these alphabets, then they can also be represented in terms of numeric values. How? A corresponds to 10 in terms of na uh, number, right? B is equal to 11. C equals to 12. D equals to 13. Similarly, E is for 14 and F is for 15. Why? Because when we are dealing with operations, uh, or we are doing some mathematical calculations like conversions and some other uh, addition subtraction in terms of hexadecimal numbers, then we need to convert these alphabets into their corresponding numeric values, right? In order to calculate that or to do such operations. Okay, now let's see how we are going to represent a positive number in a hexadecimal notation. So this positive number is basically nothing but it's a decimal or a denary number. Why is it so? Because we have a positive number that is basically represented in the digits from 0 to 9. Right? You have no uh, you have all the positive numbers that are being represented in the form of 0 till 9, right, in these digits. And similarly, in the decimal number system or a denary number system, what we have? We again have these 10 digits, 0 till 9, that are used in order to represent any of the integer, right? So this is the same. A positive number or a decimal or denary number is both the same. Why? Because they are using these 10 digits in order to represent any of the number or integer, right? Okay, now let me take an example of a hexadecimal number and tell you that how this hexadecimal number is representing an integer value, right? So let's take an example of that. Okay, so here we go. My first example would be, let's take a hexadecimal number 28H. What is this H? This H is nothing but a prefix. It's a prefix that represents that it is a hexadecimal number, okay? So my number is 28 in a hexadecimal form and in order to find out its integer value or its decimal value, what I need to do? I need to convert it. And what are my conversion steps? I have to do nothing but, let's, stay, let's write a two here and an eight here. First step would be multiply it with the powers of 16 because we are dealing with hexadecimal number and it's a base 16 number. So that's why we need to multiply it with the powers of 16 in an ascending order, right? Starting from zero, then one, then two, then three, right? Okay, now, secondly, I need to add these terms, right? So, I'm repeating it, what I have done, I have just written these two hexadecimal digits, two here and eight here. And my first step would be, I need to multiply these distinct digits 
with the power of 16 in an ascending order, right? The rightmost digit is going to multiply it with the least power of 16. That is 16 raised to the power 0. And when we move towards our left, we will increase the powers. 2 multiply by 16 to the power 1. And similarly, another digit is going to be multiplied with 16 to the power 2, right? And so on. And after these multiplication, we need to sum up all the terms, right? Now, let's do another step. Okay, 16 raised to the power 0 is nothing but 1. Again, adding it, 2 into 16 raised to the power 1 is 16. Now, what is it? 8 into 1 is 8. Doing multiplication first, right? It's a, uh, the mass rule okay the mass rule okay 2 into 16 is 32 then adding both the terms i will get 40 so what is this 40 this 40 is nothing but an integer value or a positive number that is being represented in terms of hexadecimal number that is 28 so I hope that you are clear now that in this way we are representing integers in hexadecimal numbers and every hexadecimal number has an integer or a positive number inside him or inside it. Okay, so now let me take another example uh, in order to make this thing more clear to you, right? So coming up with another example. Okay, so the next example is... 2FH. It's a two digit hexadecimal number, right? And this H is again for prefix or in order to tell you that it is a hexadecimal number, right? So I need to do nothing but write it as 2F. Now, what is this F? I cannot deal with an alphabet when I am doing calculation or conversion or doing any of the operations, right? So what I have to do, I have to write the numeric value of this F. So in a hexadecimal number, an F is being represented in terms of 15, right? Or the numeric value of this F is 15. So I need to represent it in terms of 15. Now, what is next? Again, I have to multiply it with 16 to the power of 0, then 1, right? And after that, I will be adding both the terms. Now, 16 into 15 into 16 raised to the power 0 is 1. 2 into 16 raised to the power 1 is 16. Then nothing. This is 15 and this is 32. 32 plus 15 is nothing but 47. So this is the integer value or the positive number that is being represented in a hexadecimal notation that is 2f right so i hope this is clear to you that how you are representing a positive number in a hexadecimal notation right the things will be more clear to you when i will uh, share the video of conversion uh, that how we are going to represent a hexadecimal into a decimal number or a decimal into a uh, hexadecimal number right so if you want the topic to be more clear to you then see my those conversion videos as well okay so in the next video i am going to tell you that what is the importance of hexadecimal number and why it is important to represent positive numbers or integers in, term, in terms of hexadecimal number system right what is the reason behind it Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and share the channel, share the videos with all the students that are in your circle. Thank you so much for watching it. See you in the next one. Take care.